Moore is most famous for his good humor. Moore can maintain patience, good humor, because he's determined to fight to do that. He sees the spiritual battle for what it is, and he is a very skilled and learned master of that battle. But to understand Moore as a person and what he tried to teach his children and his success as a parent and a professional is to understand how much he fought to be that good and a merry person. And the fight was against whims, against fantasies of imagination, but the external results were extraordinary. His bright and cheerful home, his life of integrity, his uh, sought after good judgment, his life as a civic leader who always had time for people. The result of that internal fight was real virtue that was so attractive that he moved those around him to want to be good. In Moore, we see the splendor of uh, life fully lived. And that's what I'd like to have given you a hint of what he did in order to do that. It didn't come easy to Moore, just as it doesn't come easy to anyone. In the tower, his daughter is, tells him of her fear for him, for herself, for her family. Uh, and this is what he says to Margaret. That you fear your own frailty, Margaret, does not displease me. May God give us both the grace to despair of our own self, and wholly to depend and hang upon the hope and strength of God. The blessed St. Paul found such a lack of strength in himself that in his own temptation, he was twice obliged to call out to God to take that temptation from him. And yet he did not attain his prayer in the manner that he requested. For God in his high wisdom, seeing that it was, as he himself said, necessary for him to keep him from pride, answered, my grace is sufficient for you. And our Lord said further, virtue is perfected in weakness. The more weak that a person is, the more is the strength of God in his safeguard declared. And so St. Paul said, all is possible in him who strengthens me. In the Tower of London, Moore feared like anyone else. Moore says by temperament, he was always a man of fear. And this is also a very famous phrase that Moore uses, maybe the most famous line in the Utopia. You must not abandon the ship in the storm because you cannot control the winds. 